Hi, it's Sarah here from Camping Across Ontario. We are continuing to pack for our canoe trip um, and I had a little bit of time so I thought I would make a video of everything that I'm planning on bringing, which is quite a bit. Um, so out here on our blanket I've kind of laid out my stuff. So my day pack is up there. I will have my Keen sandals, I'll attach them to the side of the day pack there. I have a journal and a pen, um, one for each of us. It's a good activity for the girls, especially um, if it's raining, you know, they could write or draw or whatever. This is my rain gear here, my rain coat and my splash pants. That is my good old paddling hat. Um, this time, because it'll be in September, I, well, I always bring a toque, but this time I also brought um, some neoprene gloves just in case. Um, also in my day pack is my camera gear. So there's my GoPro and accessories. And I will probably bring the Lumix camera as well, because why not? Um, We've just changed our route. We were planning a route with two and three kilometer portages um, and we're feeling, you know, a little bit overwhelmed. Our youngest is only five. So we did just recently change our route and we only have one portage. So anyway, I'm probably overpacking, but that's okay. I'm gonna bring my hiking boots um, for this one. There's a couple long hikes that we would like to do. This is what I will be wearing. I have a merino wool t-shirt, um, merino wool bra and underwear, wool socks, and some hiking pants. And then this is kind of my luxury item because it doesn't pack down very small, but it's a, it's a wool shirt. So obviously that can change depending on the weather. Right now they're calling for it to be about 20 degrees when we put in. Um, if it's colder than that, obviously my outfit will change. Um, so that's about what I'll be wearing and what will be in my day pack. Over here we have everything else that I'm going to bring. So in my clothing bag I will have um, a packable down jacket here. This is a pair of merino wool long johns that I plan on sleeping in. Over here I have um, a bathing suit and a towel on the hope that it will be warm enough to swim or at least, you know, to, <laughs> to splash around and clean ourselves off a little bit. Um, I personally like to bring a bikini um, because if something goes terribly wrong and my, my bra breaks or something, I could always use the bikini top as a backup. So that's just my personal preference. Um, over here I have a thick fleece sweater. Um, and then over here I have a wool um, tank top, sort of like an undershirt, a long sleeve merino wool shirt, um, and actually a second pair of long johns, which I'm kind of hemming and hawing about, but um, if it's very wet and very damp and cold and I'm wearing my long johns, I don't want to wear that same pair to sleep in, because um, that would just be a recipe for me feeling cold. So. Given that we only have the one portage, I'm going for it, I'm bringing two pairs. Um, yeah, so that's everything that will go in my clothing bag. Oh, uh, another pair of uh, wool socks and a couple more pairs of underwear. This is my Thermarest, my pillow and my sleeping bag and liner are up there. Um, so I think that just about sums up everything that I personally will be bringing. And then over here, from top to bottom, we have my husband's sleeping bag and liner, his pillow and his thermarest, and then my five-year-old's sleeping bag, liner, pillow, thermarest, um, and her clothes. So all of this stuff here, I think the only thing that's missing is my husband's clothes because he's still working on that. All of that stuff here will go into that big seal line 115 liter dry bag up there. So here I go, I'm gonna do that now. So here in the seal line pack now, we have three sleeping bags, three thermarests, three pillows, um, and three clothes bags. Um, my eight-year-old 
daughter actually carries all of her own gear, which I will show shortly. I just wanted to mention um, that my husband and I have been camping together for 20 years, um, and we certainly did not start out with, you know, merino wool long underwear and Patagonia rain jackets. Um, you can absolutely get out into the backcountry with with less expensive basic gear. We've been collecting our gear over a long, long period of time, so I did just want to mention that. So this is our first aid kit here. Um, I'm certainly not an expert, but if you Google, you know, wilderness first aid kit, it will, you'll be easily able to find a list of necessities that you should have. Um, when we keep this in a bright red mech um, dry bag, I think it's five liters. Um, but basically, you know, we've got that splint up there. Uh, we have young kids, so we have a ton of band-aids. There's some polysporin in there, tweezers, um, tape, gauze compresses, triangle bandages, um, all that good stuff. And do take a first aid course um, if you're gonna be heading out into the wilderness. Highly recommend. So in this purple bag, we keep our toiletries and also our medication. Um, so in this frozen bag here, our toothbrushes and our toothpaste. This here has my deodorant, chapstick, a little tiny thing of Aquaphor, um, and a razor and a mirror. Um, and then we have a hairbrush and elastics for all of us girls, some sunblock, um, and then medications. We personally will bring Tylenol and Advil for both grown-ups and children. Benadryl for both grown-ups and children, and I believe Pepto-Bismol is in there for both grown-ups and children, um, and then just some allergy medication. Obviously, that's dependent on your own individual situation. Um, it is quite big and bulky, but you know what? I'm still a mom and I'm bringing kids into the backcountry, so that is personally what we bring. All of this stuff has a scent to it, so we store all of this in our food barrel um, that gets brought away from um, our, our campsite and ideally hung up at night. You wouldn't want to take any of this into your tent, that's for sure. I do still need to go and grab the bug spray, um, so that'll be packed away with this as well. So this is our Woods Mason pack here. So I'm gonna open it up and show you what we're bringing. Green bag here, this is our tent. We're bringing a Eureka El Capitan four-person tent and I recently did a video um, uh, reviewing that tent, so I will link that in the description below. Um, uh, my husband's throwing his paddling gloves in here. We've got the little um, hatchet here. This is like my husband's, um, our emergency supplies and stuff. It looks like he's got in there a compass, a knife, um, fire starter, other things like that. Luxury item, these are our chairs. They're the um, Eureka brand um, chairs that we purchased last year before our canoe trip. They're great to have. Um, we've got our MSR stove there um, and fuel in this bag here. Um, pots and then up there we've got a frying pan, plates, mugs, utensils, all that good stuff. This blue thing up at the top here, that's our kitchen sink. So that's how we wash our dishes in the backcountry. Um, next to it there, the blue bag um, is full of rope and our tarp here it's a nice silicone tarp from mech with more rope inside of that bag um, and this here is our our Katadin water filter that we also purchased before our trip last year and then you know we've never had to use them but we do carry them just in case um, bear spray um, and a and a bear horn so that's it, that's everything that we're gonna keep inside of our Woods Mason pack here for our upcoming canoe trip. So as I was finishing up here, I realized I forgot to talk about a few things that we have packed. We do have a saw there in the Woods Mason pack as well. Um, and then down here, this is a September canoe trip. Uh, it's gonna get a dark um, a little bit earlier than we're perhaps used to while we're camping. So this is a, a solar powered um, light and it inflates sort of into like a, a cube shape. Um, so it's nice and light, packs up fairly small. So that'll come with us. We've got a little battery powered white noise machine here. Um, I like to use that in the tent at night, just sort of 
drowns out any unfamiliar sounds and helps the girls to fall asleep. And then we've got a couple of headlamps and I kind of wrap all of those up in an extra pair of socks and put them in the Ziploc bag. And then of course extra batteries for the headlamps and the white noise. I think that's everything. Thanks for watching. Please comment down below if you have any questions for us. And if you're interested, please subscribe and turn on notifications. I'd like to do a video as well um, showing all the food that we're bringing with us for our canoe trip with kids. Um, so subscribe and be notified when that comes out. Happy camping.